Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever this video finds you. Today I have two blind dogs. They're just about 13 years old. They're like a month shy. Um, this one is Gucci. Say hello, Gucci. Poor thing can't see for a lick, I know. But they are very sweet babies. I've been doing these guys for a little while now. Um, Mama wants me to take them just a skin shorter. Last time I did an eighth comb, which is a three, four, seven inch on the body. But um, I'm either gonna do, I'll probably do a zero comb on him. She probably wants the shorter because it is a lot easier, especially when you have older dogs. It's easier for them to be shorter because you don't have to worry about them stressing out. Mine Mo in the back. Oh, they're getting out. He getting out. He, they picking him up to take him home. That's why he barking. Okay. But um, it's easier for the dogs to be shorter when they're older because it's easier to maintain. Then you don't have to worry about them, you know, stressing out. You know, we don't have to bring them in as often. She does bring them in pretty often. She got a whole bunch of dogs. She got cockatoo, she sees. I think she got a poodle. I'm not sure. Um, but I know I am doing two, her other two shitsies um, next week. Um, all the dogs are great. But we get her other other puppy. Chowder. After I finish Mr. Gucci. Right now we're just fluffing all this stuff up. And hung it since we're going to be doing a, uh, a cone. Well, I thought somebody was trying to get the doors open. Somebody's gonna just come in and go use the potty. Oh no. Oh no. You just a sweet baby boy. Oh, I got a pot. Ooh, I got a good baby. I got a good baby. Um, hold on. The door's open and he just came out of the stage. this morning. I ran that little bit and I'm already pooped. Woo! Oh, look at that body. I worked out. Yeah, I did. I did just work out. I did. I felt like I ran a freaking marathon. I kid him. Alright, so I got my 30 blade up on here and we're going to try the zero comb which is just a hair shorter. Worse from the worst, if it doesn't look too good, then I'll go down one more for a one comb. Now, this is a um, five eighths of an inch. And we did a three fourths on him the last time. This takes off a really nice amount of hair. About a half inch, give or take. So, I think this will be good. I don't really don't want to take them too, too short, since it is a little crispy here. And by crispy, I mean it's chilly. So I don't want him to be too cold when he goes outside to go potty. I 
I mean, if I did take them down shorter, I'm sure the owner would not be upset with it. Um, they can always just put a sweater or a um, shirt on them. But he never comes in matted. Uh, neither does Chowder. None of her dogs come in matted. She takes really good care of all her pups. So I thank you to that because there are some clients that, you know, they have busy lives and life just gets ahead of them. And I mean, even, it's even like me. Sometimes you just, you forget that brushing your dog is put on the back Um Though it is something you should um, make sure that you're taking care of. Otherwise, you know, if you're fine with having your dog cut short, then I guess you don't have to worry about it. I normally cut my Winston down in the summer, um, and in the winter, I believe I'm a little bit fluffy. I'll do like an eight pump on him. My Winston is a standard poodle. Uh, for y'all that have joined my page and don't know, he's a sweet boy. Whenever you're doing a bark home, always be careful of this area right here because this is wide enough. This, why did I say it like that? This is wide enough. It's wide enough to actually go through and cut this part right here on the back of the leg. Um, you do not want to cut that. I mean, you don't want to cut the dog anywhere. But just be mindful of how you're clipping. Now, normally I would leave the legs a little fluff, um, but I'm just going to do the whole dog in this, legs and everything. Because normally in the winter, I like to leave the legs a little bit fluffier. But since this is a senior, find it easier for them and for the owner at home to just have them all the same one. Oh, Matt there. There's a little tiny table. I was so happy. 
Uh, now you can get scored from one to five. One is superior, two is excellent, three is great, four is poor, and five is just, well, you just should be in main. Uh, I mean, at four, you be, four and five, you do not want four or five. Well, they got ones all across the board for both competitions at Troy. They went to Troy University, they did there, and then they went to um, one in Daveville. And they got six trophies total. They did absolutely phenomenal. Like, they really have some really great band teachers. Like, they really make sure that they practice. Um, you know, they are struggling with something. They definitely make sure that they are taken care of. But they're, they have, like, little section leaders. Each area has their own section leader. And, uh... You know, if the band teacher can't teach them, then they go to their uh, section leader. Gabby wasn't sure. Our, she did the away game Friday. Um, and she was told she might not be able to go. And I think it's because she had missed the uh, county fair performance. And that's because the doctor told her she couldn't go. She went to the doctor and found out she had a really bad double ear infection. Um, one ear, she had fluid behind the back of the ear and she was getting a little bit of vitiligo. So she was kind of dizzy and stuff. She put her on some aggressive antibiotics to give her a shot. So, <coughs> she said her ear still feels kind of muffled. So I don't know if she's going to have to go back just to have her ear checked out. Um, we'll probably have to try and figure that out this week. But this week's a busy week. Tomorrow, my mother-in-law's husband, Bruce, gets his cataract surgery. And then Wednesday, he's got to go back in the morning for, I guess, a checkup. Just to make sure you know his eyes are fine after the surgery, and I have my appointment. The next week, when all shit hits the fan, Bella has her back surgery Thursday uh, at the Birmingham Children's Hospital. She's having um, part of her spine fused together. We didn't find out until recently that she was born with. Pars defect, P A R S, in case you want to look it up so you can use. Um, we've tried shots and therapy, and none of that stuff works. She even had a custom um, brace made for her. It was really cute. It's got like little unicorns on it. It honestly, to me, looks like a corset. Because uh, it's like a hard freaking plastic, bro. And the doctor's like, I don't know why they did that. It's not going to help her. Um, basically, the little bone in her spine is by her, um, her tail, her tailbone. It goes in and out and moves a lot. It's been causing a lot of pain uh, in her lower back. And ever since she got her one shot where they were trying pain shots, uh, it actually made it worse. So that's when the doctor's like, okay, well, surgery is clearly the next option. I mean, we tried everything that we needed to do because we didn't want to do surgery. Because every 10 years, he said, after he had back surgery like that, every 10 years, you're going to have to keep fusing each stuff higher and higher. So, I'm sure by the time she's like really, really old, she's going to be like punched over. I mean, well, she might not be because her back is all fine and uh, be all fused together. But I imagine at some point in time that's gonna not be good for your back. I mean, it's crazy. She's 16 and she's gonna have this surgery on her back. Now, normally you get that kind of injury if um, you do sports and she don't do no sports. She can't even jump on the damn trampoline. 
blame on you. She can't lift anything more than 10 pounds. So. I know, fun stuff, right? Still trying to find out when Kyrie's going to have her surgery. I'm not looking forward to that one. That one is going to be super duper invasive, man. Um, for those that don't know, my husband has FAP, which is familiar hyposis. Uh, it is a type of cancer in your colon. His daddy died of colon cancer. Um, his brother, one of his brothers passed away this year from it. And his one sister passed away, I think it was two years ago from it. Maybe it was last year. No, it was two years ago. Um, and then he has two other sisters that do have it. His one sister actually has gotten it twice. Plus her heart. So all of our children will have to be tested for it uh, at 18. I think he can be tested at 16, so I think after Bella uh, is finished with her back surgery, we're eventually going to have her tested for that, so that we can, God, I hope she don't have it, because with her back in that, oh man, that's definitely going to be a, a huge game changer for her, I mean, it's, I don't know about So next week I will only be here uh, three days. So I pretty much overlooked myself on most of those days, on the three days that I'm here. To kind of make up a little bit for the days that I will be here. So I'm going to pay some of my bills. Thank you. 
see right there, that's what I'm talking about. They get scared. They don't know what's going on. And probably doesn't have that my cup will keep making that random sound. The um it keeps making that sound because the bar pin keeps moving on top of the teeth. Okay, baby girl. 
Why are you being so brave? You just a good boy, yes you are. You just a bad little boy.
don't want that to go too high. But this little area is right here. They're really easy to get because I swear as adults get older, their waist gets smaller and everything kind of hangs. So it's definitely a lot easier to have injuries. So just be very mindful
Now this is on the 40 now. I'm going to shave all that. Shave inside the ears. And it does look kind of funky. So I'm going to pluck it. This ear looks fine. Okay, I'm going to put it ahead. Hmm. I think I'm going to do an eight comb on the sides. Uh, that's right. I don't have an eight comb for this. I don't know what happened to it. The light disappeared. Um, so, I'm going to take off the C comb. Why did I say C comb? I didn't have a C comb. I had an O comb. I'm telling you, I'm a little special. But y'all know this if you can watch me. So I got my egg comb on, which is three fourths of an inch. And I'm gonna do this on the size of the face and the beard. Bang, 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 the bang, the bang, bang. And the main reason why I'm leaving this a little fluffier because, ooh, Lord Jesus. Hey, I don't want it to look too short and then the body be different. You know what I mean? It looks kind of funny. that uh, show where he was trying to get a girl group together. I watched that in my Yes, I did. It was on TRL. All these girls are so talented. I think only two of the girls are still doing music. Okay, now they do not get any um, nail lining. They get just the basic nail clip. So we're going to put these toes right here. You guys can see what I'm doing on the other side. Hopefully it's charged enough. So I just cut the toenails on this foot. We're going to round it out. Now there are a few ways you can do a round foot. You can either A, brush all your hair out, get you a curved shear, and just go around the whole foot. Um, or you can lift it and go around the whole foot go around this whole foot like this. But what I like to do is sometimes I I normally pick it up and then scissor it, but for this purpose, I'm gonna hold it down. Now I usually trim just in front to where the toes are because if you trim right in front of where the toes are, that'll pretty much be your starting line and you can kind of get that and then know how much you have to cut off the side so you're not cutting off too much because I have a habit of doing it sometimes. I'll cut off too much and then the foot looks like a freaking triangle and it's a hot ass mess. So I've been watching a lot of videos of these ladies uh, doing their fees. So I, lately I've been doing just around, I'll clip just the front of the toenail first and kind of just do that to kind of blend everything in. all the other stuff and then you just brush the top up and then you just 
lightly trim the top of it like you would a top knot. And that's it. That's how you get a pretty little foot. Pretty easy. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Now, you're gonna come all this hair up. Okay? Now, if you scissor like this, scissor up, you'll see how it lays down. And you can use curves because it'll go straight with the body, or you can use straights. I'm using straights. There are some people that use nothing but curves on the whole dog. There are some that use just thinning shoes. There are some that use just straight shoes. I use a little bit of everything. Sorry, that little peepee -pee hair is really bothering me. So I'm just going to scissor this down and just take them out. Oh, not that much off, just a little bit. So I don't want to take off too much because the comb already took enough off for me. And I still want these legs to look a little fluffy. You always want your legs to kind of look like cylinders, stove pipes. You know, a nice round. Nice and round. And you pretty much just do a whole, all around the whole dog, making sure it's all the same length and everything is nice, neat, and even. Always make sure you get it back here, around the butt area, really nice and short, uh, especially on your senior dogs. Now, don't go be getting a 40 or some crap like that and just do that baboon butt. I know so many people that do that, and I'm like, oh my God, why did you do that to that dog? Because when they walk around, they got the tail, that's all you see. You don't see the butthole. That's a lot. That's a lot of butthole. Just saying. Nobody wants to see the butthole. I mean, unless you're into that weird shit. <coughs> I ain't judging. It's not my cup of tea. I don't want to see the booty hole. You know that I've seen, uh, they had these things a few years ago. I think they were starting to make a comeback. They have like these little buttons or jewels or something. It's like a little rubber band or some crap like that. And you put it around the back of the dog's tail. And it's got a little gem and it covers the butt hole. I don't know who decided to do that and thought it was a cute idea. Um, but it's not because I was like... How tight is that around the tail? Like, I'd be afraid it'd be too tight, and then the dog would lose, or the cat will lose, uh, you know, the pressure uh, around the circulation. That's what I was looking for. Circulation around there, and then, you know, tail might die off. I don't know, but that's just me. I mean, if you have a pet, you know they have a booty hole, and you know you're going to see it, so. Just tell your groomer not to shave it that short. I mean, unless they're a senior dog, or, you know, even not a senior dog, and they have, like, diarrhea, then, well, you don't have a choice. Just put a diaper on. Put a diaper on for a little bit. But just make sure you wash your dog's butt afterwards. And change it often because that's going to cause some irritation. Okay. Now, we're going to do the inside this way. Now, I did it on the other side. Watch your schnoggin. You can see a little bit of the hair sticking up, but there's not that much. So, always make sure that you look from the inside of the tail from the inside of the leg through the tail side. Better than he can. Alright, I'm going to lift this tail up. Turn up this little hair right here on the booty. Now, if you're grooming a girl and you're doing this, just be careful right here because this is usually where their vulva is. Um, and you don't want to be cutting that because, well, um, that would just freaking hurt. Ouch. Ouch. Just saying, ouch. Okay, so now we're going to do this leg. I know. Now trim these toes. 
Now normally when I trim my nails, I do a little squish. I don't do a hard squish uh, before I clip. Normally I have a good idea of where the quick is, even on the black ones, because I've been doing it so damn long. Um, but the main reason why I do, um, I put a little pressure before I actually clip it, because the dog will tell you, um, the dog will generally tell you if you're too damn close and um, you're hurting it. I'm do that at an angle so you can see what the frick I'm doing, but my arm is in the other way. Okay, so we're gonna trim up all this but you can see from this leg, this leg is nice and neat and even. And this, you see all the hair sticking out. So we're going to pretty much do what we did on this leg to this leg. Now curve shears are really, really good for this spot right here. Because you can do it backwards and then really get a nice curve. In there. Get this little match off of there. I know that was a part of the tail and I wasn't supposed to cut it. I, mean, I haven't heard this song in a long time. I think this is Weezer. They were really big in the 90s. Do they still make music? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm sure they probably do. And you just don't get it. And you learn to forget it. Now, I know some people say you shouldn't scissor like this down, but it's just inside of the leg. It's in the back leg. It's all right. As long as you make everything nice and neat and even, um, it's going to be okay. Now, if you're doing like big chunks in there, then you're going to notice. I mean, you can always um, blend it in too with. Um, some thinning shears. See, doesn't his coat? It's so pretty. It looks like velvet. Buddy. You know, you can't see, but yet you still try to turn towards that door. All my dogs do that. I had some hot chocolate because we have a hot chocolate bar today. <coughs> the first day of, um, Appreciation Week for the techs and <coughs> the staff here. The first day is always like candy and um, stuff. I think somebody's bringing food today too. I gotta look at my little calendar. Now remember, just like I said on the other one, you can do this however you want. I'm gonna lift it because it's easier for me. But I just scissored in front of where the toenails are, and then I'm going to use that to follow it around. So this way I don't have a, you know, messed up foot. Because you want it to be nice and round. Because sometimes if you're not paying attention, you can get one of those uh, triangle feet. And that's because you cut the sides too short. Sweetheart. You put your leg on this side. Put your leg on this side. I gotta get in the inside of your leg. Alright, you gonna be turned. Come on. I'm gonna stand you up there. You can also sit at a leg standing up like this if you have a dog like this that just doesn't want to cooperate or keep turning. There you go. See? Okay. I'm going to lift 
lift this up, this leg up. Make sure you cut all the hair that's underneath the armpit. The reason why I do that is it just makes it look cleaner and nicer. Um, and especially when you're older dolls, um, the more hair they have there, the friction goes through it and it can cause matting. And that's a very sensitive area. So I usually just either scissor it, because normally if they're matted there, the only option I have is to shave it. Sweetheart, I'm just brushing your legs. Stop. Now we're going to clip these nails. Now sometimes when you're doing the black nails, if the dog hasn't been here in a while, you can normally see where the nail will grow off, where it's grown from, and that's normally where you can see. I'm just going to hold his leg stop. Sir. Sir. Hey. Hey, it's okay. I know. I know stinky butt. Stinky butt. I'm over here trying to give you a kiss and you just kind of got you see that? He's so silly. Alright, so we're going to scissor right in front of this um, nails and then just follow that right around. Pinch that hair up and then you're going to trim the top like you would your top knot where it's nice and round. Now he does have a little bit of a knot right here. So I'm going to try and scissor that out. Stovepipe legs. So you're going to scissor everything down. Now, when you set your feet, your feet pretty much set your line of where you're going to go. So my line is right here. So I'm just going to scissor from the top down to reach, or rather, meet, meet that other end. And I'm also going to blend this in. It was either you were in sync, 98 degrees, or Backstreet Boys.
sir. Let me just roll you over for a minute. Buddy. What the condition is with this whole leg? I'm assuming maybe he's got arthritis in it. Which is very possible. I mean, he is just about 13. Your breath is very stinky. I'm still gonna give you a little fresh, fresh. <coughs> That'll help break down any plaque or tartar he's got going on. There was one girl that I watched, well, it was on a, a, a grooming page video. Her husband pays all her dollars. Um, but see, he just shoved like a whole bunch of foam in the dog's mouth. And I was like, take it back. But I was like, no. What is even that foam? Did he have like a foam kind of toothpaste that you just put in the mouth and you don't have to brush your teeth? I don't know. But it was very, very foamy, and it was like a good three or four pumps, and the whole dog's mouth looked like it was having a seizure with the amount of foam. I don't know if I can eat a product like that. Very, it looked very scary. the leg. Sorry, because I know my arm keeps getting in the damn way. I'm going to scissor the back of this leg. Right there. Roll this all the way down. Always be careful because they got that little that little doodad. It's like a knuckle or something. I don't know. It's like a pad. A little knuckle pad. I don't know what the purpose is, it, but it, it's there. What is the purpose of this little pad thing that right there? Like, what, what, what is the purpose of that? Like, it doesn't touch the ground or anything like that. So... I'm just curious if there's an actual purpose of why the dogs are born with it.
Let's go, baby. And then always make sure you blend your sides. No, no, but. But first, let me take a selfie. Come on, no, no, no. Look, I don't have anywhere else to hold. I mean, I can hold this, but that you'd still be able to move your head. I need your head to be still. Now we're gonna get all the hair that's sticking out. Just gonna blend this all in. faces after I've done all that I still fluff I'm moving the hair back but I still fluff this all up I fluff it all up stop I know you're tired you're done you're like lady I just want to go back and go to sleep get back down Hard stuff right there. I'm gonna scoop it out. Okay, or I'm not, because apparently this is deep. Charge this little sucker in.
All right. Work to the left. And we're going to spritz it one more time with our main tail. We let it go. That was a little cold. I didn't like that. And we are going to squirt some skills on him. Uh, this is by Whiffy Sense. If y'all don't know about Whiffy Sense by now and y'all been watching my videos, I don't know what's wrong with you. Go get you some Whiffy Sense. The stuff smells amazing. And it lasts a long time. But one squirt goes a long, goes a long way. Um, and you don't have to use it on just your dog. You can use it uh, in your car, in your closet, in your house. Um, I like to use it around my cat litter boxes. Um, I have like a little air filter and I just spray it on the filter. <coughs> and it kind of keeps it a little fresh over there. On the days that, you know, my cats be pooping. My cats poop like they're men. They do like big, big booty poops. Big poops. Big, big poops. And it be stanky. My husband hates it because he, it makes him so sick he wants to throw up. It's like, oh, hell. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I really want to trim the bottoms of these ears when Mama said don't touch any lane off. So I'm not even going to touch it. But, so we did a zero comb, which is the five eighths on the body. We did it on top of the head and the chin. And then we did an A comb on the face and then scissored everything up. So this is the look from this side. This is the face. So 13 year old blind, Kakapoo. He did great. He's a good baby. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and whenever I post something, it'll come up in your feed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Say bye, Gucci.